Thanks to the box office success of Jigsaw, it looks like we'll be getting a ninth Saw movie in the next couple years. I think the filmmakers counted on this happening because they seem to have left little clues like this one to set up the next installment. Before we get started, I know what you people are going to say. Oh, Hoffman could still be alive, Bobby Dagan could be a disciple of Jigsaw, blah blah blah. And to that I say, Hoffman is dead, okay? He's chained to the same spot that Adam was in the original Saw. We all know there's only one way out of that, and Gordon clearly throws away the key. As for the others, I'll do a full rundown of who I think might be alive and possibly reappearing in Saw 9. But honestly, I don't see anyone from the original seven movies making a return. I mean, what was the point of Jigsaw if not to freshen things up and bring the franchise back to theaters? We got all new characters, and I don't think any of the other sequels had a total of zero flashbacks to other movies. Even the title, Breaking the Numeric Sequence of Saw Films, just tells me this is supposed to be a fresh slate in a way. It wasn't my favorite Saw film by any means, but I do admire the way it revived the property without relying on a reboot to wipe away the glorious continuity that's been established. And I think it did a great job of laying the foundations for Saw 9, so that's exactly where I'll start. The big question going into the new movie is who's going to be the next Jigsaw? In the last movie, we saw Logan Nelson replicating Jigsaw's teachings. At first, it would appear that Nelson is a corrupt Jigsaw because he, like Hoffman, uses the Jigsaw image for personal vendetta and selfish reasons. However, in the final moments, Nelson reveals that everyone he puts in the game deserved to be there under John Kramer's ideals. He mentions that the first three people in his game were criminals that got off the hook that were similar to the players in Jigsaw's original game. Remember, the game we saw in the movie was John Kramer's game from 10 years ago. We only actually see little glimpses of Nelson's game and the victims. The last two players were Halloran and Nelson. Halloran deserves to be there because he's the one who took bribes and got those criminals off the hook, including the murderer of Nelson's wife. And then there's Nelson himself, who switched the labels on John Kramer's brain scan and never got punished for it. He never woke up from John Kramer's sedative in time to play the game in which he was originally supposed to be tested. So he put himself in his own game in order to test himself and see if he was as talented as Jigsaw. This also replicates John putting himself in the room in the original Saw. Everything seems to add up towards him being the perfect successor to Jigsaw. Some might argue that Nelson can't really continue being Jigsaw in a future movie, but I think there's evidence that he can. Unlike John Kramer, who tends to leave the corpses in secret locations, Nelson moves his to be discovered by the public, but he doesn't have to do that for Detective Halloran. Logan set things up in a way to make everyone think that Halloran is the new Jigsaw. In fact, the only part he seems to care about from the audio admission is this. So if Halloran were to disappear right now, everyone would think that he is responsible, allowing Logan to continue the work of Jigsaw with new games in the future. But he makes one mistake. John Kramer tells him to never allow personal anger and revenge to interfere. But as far as I can tell, there's one participant who never gets a fair chance at redemption, and that is Edgar Munson, the man who murdered Nelson's wife. He seems to be involved in another game set up by Nelson, and despite appearing to succeed, Nelson shoots him, takes him off life support, and dumps him in John Kramer's grave. The original Jigsaw never actually murdered anyone, but Nelson makes this mistake to avenge his wife. He may have faltered off the path John Kramer set for him due to the PTSD he picked up in the army, which you can read about by pausing here in the movie. We've already seen what happens when one of Jigsaw's successors breaks the rules. The disciples of Jigsaw come after him to make things right. Even if it's not mentioned in Saw 9, you can bet a showdown between Logan Nelson and the disciples of Jigsaw is coming in the future. So who's going to be a part of this battle? We know Dr. Lawrence Gordon has played this part in the past, and he's someone who's definitely still alive and active. I've speculated on who some of these other pig masks who helped Dr. Gordon could be. Some of you in the comments of a previous video said they could be minor characters from the Saw 7 opening based on some producer's commentary track. I'm going to go ahead and say that's not canon. And if that was the intention at one time, it's going to be changed now that they're continuing the series. I speculated that Nelson may actually be one of Gordon's assistants, but there are a couple of other possibilities as well. This is where the characters from the previous films could come in. It would make sense that Gordon would work with any of the other members of the Jigsaw survivor group from Saw 7, but there are other survivors who weren't seen in that group. 
For example, Brent and Tara Abbott from Saw 6. The father of that family was the guy who was denied insurance coverage, needed to survive, so it makes sense that his family would want to see justice served. I could see Brent, now a fully grown adult, being a powerful force in a new movie. Another character who would be a grown-up now is Daniel Matthews, the son of the detective from Saw 2. He was also a survivor. It would be easy to see him learning under John Kramer's wing after losing his father. Then we've got Corbett Denlin, a survivor who lost both of her parents in Saw 3. Because Kramer was already gone, she would have had to have been trained by the corrupt Mark Hoffman, meaning that if she does end up appearing again, she might actually be more on Nelson's side. Then there's Pamela Jenkins, the reporter who sensationalized Jigsaw stories for her own personal gain. She'd be another candidate to be on Nelson's side because she may have been corrupted by Hoffman. By the way, Nelson does have anonymous people helping him too. It could be cool in a future movie to see two Jigsaws and their followers engaged in a war of ideals. But like I said before, I think it's unlikely we'll see the return of old characters because the new Jigsaw film sets up the possibility for new pig mask minions. Eleanor is an obvious candidate, due to her fandom for Jigsaw and the fact that Nelson is grooming her throughout the movie. The last we see of her in Jigsaw shows her getting picked up after escaping the pig farm, and she's got a look of fear on her face, so maybe someone from the survivor group has plans for her. There's also the fan site she spends all that time on, Jigsaw Rules, which could offer a new pool of candidates to be assistants. Nelson will need the extra help, because there are plenty more criminals set free during the Halloran regime, and there could be other corrupt officials as well. If you're still not convinced that there's going to be another one, let me direct your attention to the news clippings in Eleanor's studio. This article, from the Saw 5 era, says the story will be continued on 6, 7, 8, and 9. If that's not enough proof for you, then look at this story, which is supposedly about Jigsaw, but the contents of the article seem to only talk about... Ticketmaster? They want us to buy tickets to Jigsaw so they can make Saw 9. So if you bought tickets to Jigsaw, or if you're excited about the revival of the franchise, let me know by leaving a like on this video. And leave your ideas for the next Saw in the comments. And if there are enough cool ones, maybe I'll feature them in a future video. And if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to CZ's World for new horrors every week. Ring that death bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Assuming we both survive.